uh, the government in Venezuela uh, started taking the schools and the children in trying to manipulate their, their minds by um, installing these radios and these songs and the things that the kids need to repeat so they can start getting used to I belong to the government, I'm going to work for them, I'm going to serve them and to manipulate the minds of people just to gain power over them. Young people in the United States unfortunately are following socialism because they don't have much background knowledge about what socialism have done in other countries. They're gonna get a lot of things for free. They're gonna get um, a lot of benefits, but they never explain when or how, or in exchange of your own liberty. You know, it sounds good at first, what socialism offers. When they find out it's really taking everything they have, I guess it's too late. You have to renounce to freedom and yes, I have seen that happening to my own family. When I came back to Venezuela, I couldn't recognize it. I said, what's going on? Everything was so different. Destruction, it's only destruction. After that, no electricity, um, no water, it's unbelievable. To me, they killed your dreams. There's, there's no potential dream and just go through life. And then you start lacking basic needs, you know, things that you never thought it was going to be lacking in your life. It wasn't here until like the past few months until I started really paying attention to the government. I was like, this is my future. I should probably take more account into the government and like who I'm voting for. Nothing is for free. The promise is for free, but it has to come with a cost. And that cost goes gradually, little by little. With riots in the streets and, and the police who are putting down those rioters and those citizens who are just asking for the freedom they once had. In this moment, I lost hope. You have the perfect person to kidnap a child, to kidnap a wife, and give me the daughter. Here, we feel uh, peace, we feel um, a normal life. The best for me, of course, is stay here in America and study in a college here and all of that, but the problem is not the best for my family. And well, I hope to uh, see you, everyone, when I come back here to the United States. The truth, through the eyes of those who experience it, it's always hard to watch. The government's always watching you in Venezuela. So is there a difference between historical socialism and new socialism? Exposing the truth is always risky. And our film crew, they, they risk their lives getting our footage. And are asylum seekers entitled to the pursuit of happiness? I mean, they risk beatings, loss of equipment, um, imprisonment, getting this footage in, in, in Caracas for us. Venezuelan immigrants to the U.S. know this life from democracy to socialism to dictatorship all too well. How it plays out, how it strips our freedom, how it takes everything, how it destroys families. This is not a political film, but we understand that making this film will put us at odds with those who are. So that could mean no positive media reviews, no late night show appearances, no film festival selections, no YouTube monetization, and no film distribution deals. So why do it? because it's the truth.